Do you have business owners in your clientele? Do you want to know how to kickstart estate planning with them? In this episode of Estate Planning with Eugene, I am going to unveil the curtains to this one homework I do before meeting any business owner. Are you ready? Now, I hear this many times. Financial consultants telling business owners about the need to have a buy-sell agreement. They nag at their clients. It's like it is the only one thing their clients need to do. Of course, having a buy-sell agreement is essential and I will say it's critical for all business owners. After all, who is going to inherit your business after putting all of your heart and soul into it? I also hear many financial consultants asking their clients or even prospects the number of shares they own, who are the other directors, the business profile, etc, etc. Do you know it is a sign of incompetency? Now, before we get there, I will recommend you to do your homework and by doing so, you win the trust of every business owner you meet. The key is first to find out the business full name or it can also be the client's name. Now, head on to acra.org SG and purchase a business profile of the business. The Accounting and Corporate Regulatory ACRA ACRA, is the equivalent of any government agency that stores the registration for all businesses in a particular country. So for a little fee of $5.50, you will get all the background information of the business. So for example, like the year of when the business is being set up, the paid up capital, who are the directors and their names, and lastly, who are the other shareholders. This will enable you to better understand who is the main shareholder of the business. It will provide you with a prior understanding of the business setup, whether there are any nominee directors or even shareholders. There are times in an appointment where one of the owners engages you in a very demanding tone and is resistant to your solutions. But you know what? Sometimes after checking out your homework, you may realize that he is just a minority shareholder. Then what I'll do is that I'll direct my attention to the main shareholder and pitch to him instead. Now, how powerful is that? It is like obtaining an X-ray of a particular organ in the body before you decide on the surgery. So having this step done also saves you time and the business owner's time. To them, time is the most precious. So if you only have one hour with them, why not do your homework, prep yourself well, and maximize your opportunity to impress them rather than waste time asking them the questions of who owns this and who owns that. There is also a certain amount of preparation needed when it comes to meeting business owners such as reading up on the industry, at least whether the business that they are in is a sunset or a sunrise phase. Well, my method may not guarantee that you can get something out of this appointment, but at least it puts you ahead of your competition. Now, you can up your game with business owners. And if you like this episode, make sure you click subscribe and check out my other videos meant for financial consultants. See you again.